Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm David Robbins. It brings me great pleasure to bring you, for the first time, and live, the ultimate match. A mighty white versus the thick, fatty veg oil. Okay, let's see who's in the match. In the red corner, here we have the mighty white. Standing in at just 11 inches high, and weighing in at 820 grams. Fully lined with stainless steel mesh, at 200 holes per square inch, boasts 77 micron. 80 holes around its body at just one and a quarter inch, it's well and truly gonna take the liquid out of its opponent. And having a big mouth of 12 inches, here to take it. With thousands of liters of already filtered oil under its belt, this is the winner. And here it is, the challenger. It's fat, veggie, oil. Weighing in at over 18 kilos, this is one that's gonna be a menace. It's got duck, it's got bird, chicken, meat. You know it, it's in there, it's got it. This is one big challenge. Oh wait, he wants to show the body. There it is, folks. This is the Challenger. Thick, dirty, veggie oil. This is going to be one match not to miss. Let the match begin! Right, we're just going to set our match up now. Here's our canvas. This is going to collect our liquid gold. Do nicely there. Top ring. The mighty white now enters the ring. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. Let the match begin. As you can see, the veggie white takes no time and stuffing its face straight to the mighty white. The mighty white will take it, we are going to fill it straight to the top. You're seeing this live. There you go. It's all going in. You can hear it's already working. It's taking no time. Right, this is an, the Mighty White. And what it will actually be doing at the moment is squeezing the oil straight to the sides of these holes. We're going to give it 20 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it's done already. Like I said, doesn't mess about this. We're going to beat this. We'll give it 20 minutes. Right, here you go, there's 20 minutes. You can see it's gone down. He's in just under two inches already. So what I'm gonna do is show you now. Just position the camera a bit better. I can still hear it coming out the sides. Always use something plastic. Don't use anything metal against the mesh. Right. Right. 
this is against the sides I'm against the sides and then it, you can hear it coming through faster again but what I'm going to do let's pour it straight back in I'm not worried I'll pour this straight back in like I said now the fats are sticking to the sides the mighty white does its action what I'm going to do I'm going to leave this overnight this is the best time to do it overnight so when you come back in the morning it'll be done now with your filter socks as soon as you put this into the filter socks it start blocking straight away and you can probably get about six maybe eight liters of oil like this into your sock but it will start blocking straight away literally because it's material with this being stainless steel mesh we've got something a bit tough now I've been asked why well, don't I cut a hole in the bottom and put some mesh in it'll block straight away but the thing is we want, I want the strength of the filter so as we put the oil in the strength is pushed to the sides having a mesh in the bottom and it blocks straight away it can add extra weight to the mesh which it will bow and eventually may fall through so I kept the bottom cut as many holes as I can on the side literally the more holes we got the more oil we're going to extract anyway I'm going to leave that it's a great time for the weather I've got to go out for tea so what I'm going to do so as you can see it's 16, 16 now on the 6th of June you can see there the temperature 14 degrees centigrade We'll leave that overnight and then we'll come back in the morning, see what's on the canvas and see who won the match. Morning folks, right, today's the day. We'll see who's won the match of the mighty white and the fatty oil. As you can see we're on 728. For those who suffer with a dicky stomach or about to have your breakfast, now's the time to look away. For those who are going on a diet, here we go. Right, I'm going to move the camera right up so as you can see. Right, you can see the fats stuck on the sides. And just a tiny bit of liquid in the bottom. Now, you can, if you wanted to, you could have carried on. If you remember when I did the 20 minute interval, scooping this from the sides. If you scoop from the sides, you clear the holes, you can carry on going. Well, you can see, we've well and clear, well and truly busted the fat on this one. You can see just how much fat there was in that oil. Right. Slowly lift this out. top right here we go then folks I don't know if you can see that we just lift this up to the light so you can see right there you go. I think you can easily say the winner and still the champion is the mighty white. Right. Place that there. As you can see, lovely and clear. It's what we were on. I hope that the people that were a bit skeptic about the mighty white you will now see without benefit of the doubt that it truly does what it says on the label there you go that will be ready to use for biodiesel or use straight in your vehicle if you use oil right 
before I finish the film, I always tell you it takes 20 minutes to clean the filter and we can use it again. What I'm going to do is show you, if you want to do it in two or three minutes, how you can get the Mighty White back up in again, ready for action. Hi right, folks, this is the last part of the film now. Like I said, I have many skeptics saying, ah, oh, you've already filtered the oil. Well, you can't already filter that oil. Right, this is the part that none of us like. It's clean in it. Right, I didn't want to put you to the, the horrible task of me scooping it out, but if you can see that, it's dirty, we've got the meat bits in it, what have you. Right, like I said, hot soapy water. You just pump them straight in. Because the water comes through in the holes. Like I said, again, soft brush. We don't want to damage this mesh whatsoever. If you slightly cut it, rip it, it's not going to do the job again and you haven't got the strength. Right. When you're washing fatty stuff, it's not too bad. We can quickly whiz around. What have you? Tip it again. Get right down to the bottom if you're going to be using this again. If you see, it should come up here or there. I use a dewatering tank. I place the mighty white on top. Filter, keep filtering. Then I close the top. Leave it when I need it. Pump it out. Ready to go. You don't want to be handballing oil all the time. Right. Good wash around. There you go. The reason why I say 20 minutes, I like to put it outside, let it air a bit, get rid of some of the smells. Right. Like with the filter socks, if you, uh, chuck that in. you can see what fat came out. So with your filter socks, you've got to try and get it in the washing machine without the missus seeing. And if she finds out that you put that in the washing machine, so anyway, just going to show you quickly on this one. Doesn't matter too much about drying the edges with a tea towel. Again, make sure the mist is done fine now. Wipe it all. We don't want no water getting into the oil. The reason why, again, I use settling tanks, let the water settle a bit. There would have been a lot of water in that oil, it settled to the bottom. Right, there you go folks, as quick as it can be, you can see, it's clean, ready to use again. Like I said, I just like to leave him outside, so he airs a bit, but there you go, easy to win for the Mighty White. Well folks, there you go, what a match, eh? The mighty white. Did he kick some fat out of that veggie oil? Right. As you've seen, you've seen it live. No trickery. I had a lot of skeptics thinking that I already filtered oil. Can you really filter oil like that? It'd be a dirty job. Anyway. Just to recap. The mighty white. The champion. Comes. A heavy duty handle. 81 and a quarter inch holes. Lined. With 77, yes, 77 micron mesh. It is very fine, very fine. Aluminium support body does the job. You've seen it working. I've not got many of these left, I'll be honest with you. I usually have these on top of a settling tank like this. I filter the oil, lift it up, cap on airtight, because then the yellow peril will come in. But we want to make sure he does the same job as a mighty white. Kick some fat. Who knows? Could be the last one you ever order. Anyway, folks, there you go. For the skeptics who wanted me to filter fatty oil, I've done it. I bought you the ultimate match. Until next time, my friends, thank you for watching and bye bye.